Hi everyone, so today we're going to talk about lattice points and Pick's theorem. You know, a couple of really interesting ideas and these two, um, these two concepts are actually quite connected as Pick's theorem only deals with lattice points and lattice polygons, but that's something we'll talk about a little bit later. Now, I've talked about Pick's theorem in one of my first videos a few months ago, four, five months ago, and uh, uh, but in that question, we really didn't need to use Pick's theorem, it was quite an overpower for that question, it was an AMC 8 problem. But uh, this is obviously going to be a little bit more for sophisticated example of uh, Pick's theorem, right? So let's just get right into it. This is the problem number five from the IMO in the year 1987. And uh, in this video, we're going to talk about what lattice coordinates are, what this idea of a lattice point is, what's this Pick's theorem, right? And an interesting observation involving parabolas, right? After that, we have certain book sessions involving senior math Olympias. And at the end, we have this is the problem number five from the IMO in the year 1987. And uh, in this this video is sponsored by Chinta.com. Since 2010, Chinta has trained thousands of students from all around the world in mathematical Olympiads, physics Olympiads, computer science and informatics Olympiads, ISI CMI entrances, and research projects for school and college students. Okay, so it's. It's been said to us that let n be an integer greater than or equal to 3, right? Prove that there is a set of n points in the plane, in the Euclidean plane, so that distance between any two points is irrational, and each set of these points determines a non-degenerate triangle with rational area. Now, so this might seem very wordy to you, it's, it, I, and I agree, it is unnecessarily wordy to a particular extent, but uh, really what they're trying to say is that you have a triangle, you have a triangle, you have a non-degenerate triangle, such that the side lengths, if I label that as ABC, the side lengths AB, BC, and AC are irrational, if I represent that as Q bar. And the area of this triangle ABC, this is actually a rational quantity. That is all that they're trying to say. And we need to prove that this exists for um, any n points in the Euclidean plane, right? And n is obviously greater than or equal to 3. I mean, obviously, because you cannot form a triangle with only one or two points, right? So n has to be greater than three, of course. So um, at the end of the day, the core idea of what we need to prove is that even though sides are irrational, the area can still be rational. So prove the existence of uh, that claim in a way, right? So before we really get into this problem, I want to introduce you to something called as lattice points. Now, really, lattice points is nothing but a definition. So lattice points is any point on the coordinate axis. So let's say this is a coordinate axis x, y, and then we have any point P, let's say x comma y. So P will be a lattice point if both x and y are integers. So x is an integer, y is an integer. And if both its coordinates are integers, it's a lattice point. It's as simple as that. It's really as simple as that. Both coordinates are integers. There you go. It's a lattice point. Right, as simple as that. So lattice in a way is just representing the word integer, right? As simple as that. Now, for example, one, two, three, four, five. Let me just draw this grid. And each point that I'm marking represent some some lattice point. Right? So it represents some lattice point. Let me just draw maybe a couple of more lines and then we are good to go. So here I'm just gonna draw a triangle. So let me just take any three points really and make a triangle, right? Let's take this point, let's take, I don't know, this point and maybe this point. And let's just make a triangle by, you know, joining these three points. Okay. Awesome, right? So now you see this triangle is actually a lattice triangle, right? Because all of its three vertices, A, B, and C, are lattice points, right? All of these three vertices, the coordinates of these three vertices are integers, and therefore it's a lattice point. Just to remind you, a point P will be a lattice point if X comma Y will both be integers. So for example, one comma one is a lattice point, you know, seven comma nine is a lattice point, negative one comma negative seven is also a lattice point, any integer really, but something like one by two and seven, this is not a lattice point because one by two is not an integer. It's, it's really as simple as that. So over here on this grid, you can clearly see that A, B and C are all lattice points. So all are integer points. And uh, you can just consider this as one unit. But really, those that's unnecessary. But okay, so yeah, all of these three points are uh, lattice points, really. But now what I can, what I want to demonstrate to you is because these three are lattice points, the area will be rational. So in a way, the claim that I'm making is if we have a triangle, any triangle, 
any triangle any triangle abc such that a b and c are lattice points then the area of this triangle will be rational right it will be rational this is the claim that i'm trying to make and i'll prove this in a couple of ways right just to remind you again what i'm saying is that if the points a b and c all are lattice points they have coordinates as integers that means that the area of that triangle any general triangle that has a b and c as lattice points will be rational quantity there are a couple of ways to prove that first would be geometrically you know that's why i made this diagram otherwise i could have proved just given you a theorem and proven it right so if i just draw a minimal rectangle enclosing this triangle so this will obviously be the smallest rectangle smallest mind you that encloses this you can take a larger one also but why too complicated you know this works perfectly as well now the area of this rectangle will obviously be rational you can find it also right it's you have how many points 1 2 3 4 so the length is 4 and what's the width you have this first point you have the second point this is the third point so width is 3 like i said this is one box one one is one unit so the area is 12 well area is an integer it's obviously a rational quantity but now you see that the area of this triangle that i'm shading is also a rational quantity why because it is half into base into height so no matter what the base and height are well base is 1 2 3 4 the base is 4 and height is 1 so area is obviously 2 but it doesn't matter these are just values the core thing is that it is rational similarly this area this area is also a rational quantity it is going to be half into 1 into 1 it is 0.5 it is rational 1 by 2 similarly this area is also going to be a rational quantity you know because half into base into height base and height are both integers divided by 2 at the very least you're getting a rational number if not an integer if not a natural number right So that means if these three shaded regions that I've shaded in green are rational quantities, and the entire rectangle is also a rational quantity, that means this is also has to be a rational quantity, right? Because effectively, the area of this of the purple triangle, area of the purple triangle is nothing but area of the rectangle. I'm just using shading notations over here. I hope you don't mind. Minus area of all the triangles. Shaded in green, right? We have three triangles. I'll represent it as like this. Right, three triangles: number one, number two, and number three. Right. So the area of this uh, purple triangle is going to be the area of the rectangle, which is the rational minus the sum of the areas of these three triangles. And obviously, all of these three will be rational as well. So automatically, this becomes rational quantity as well. So that is essentially proving my claim, right? My claim was that if all three points A, B, and C are lattice points, that means the area is rational. And we saw with this. geometrical interpretation as well now there's another way to really see this and that is why something called as pix theorem you know pix theorem pix formula you know you can say anything really pix theorem says that the area of a lattice polygon is equal to i plus b by 2 minus 1 right where i is the number of lattice points in interior or in the interior of the polygon right and this b is the number of lattice points on the boundary on the surface on the boundary right of the polygon of the lattice polygon and a is obviously area of such a lattice polygon now you clearly see that i is number of lattice points it has to be natural number so this is rational b by 2 will be rational one is rational you combine all of these three together area becomes rational you know this this is just 10 second analysis uh, easily provable i is rational b by 2 rational one rational add two subtract one you get a rational quantity so area will be rational right and a lattice polygon is essentially a polygon that has all its vertices as lattice points so like i had said over here this triangle that i had made in this figure over here also has lattice points it is a lattice polygon as it as its vertices are all lattice points and hence its area will be rational which we can see from pix theorem as well so really uh, there are multiple ways to prove this now how is this related to a problem now in the problem if you remember in the problem if you remember they had said that the area is rational so if the area is rational that means the points the points in the triangle uh, they correspond to lattice points right if i call that as let's say x y and z x y and z all are lattice points because whenever we have lattice points the area will be rational so we have satisfied the condition for area to be rational just by considering lattice points it was as simple as that you consider lattice points you get the area as rational but 
we need to also consider the fact that the side lengths x y y z x z needs to be irrational right and to see that i'm going to consider a curve consider the curve y is equal to x squared right and i can define any point pk on the curve to be equal to k comma k square right where k runs from one two three all the way up to n because we have n points in the plane right okay great now again i can define a point pm as m comma m square and obviously both these points lie on the parabola now if i define the distance between these two points it would be nothing but square root of k minus m whole square plus k square minus m square whole square and this is very trivial from distance formula so d becomes i can take k minus m whole square common over here i'll get one plus um k plus m whole square over here right i hope i'm doing correctly yeah looks good so i can take this uh, modulus of k minus m out remember square root of x square is modulus x right square root of x square is not x it is modulus x don't forget that and then you have in the root one plus k plus m whole square now really this quantity over here will always be irrational right it'll always be a radical because square root of a square plus b square is always a radical quantity it's always an irrational quantity until and unless a and b are both zero well clearly we have one over here and this is also non-zero quantity so d is irrational do you actually see what i've done here well if this algebraic thing does not make much sense to you this seems very arbitrary that prana we just considered a curve and just did some random calculations and it made no sense i mean it did make sense algebraically but what's the geometric interpretation how this connected to the question well to know that let's just graph it out so this is our x-axis this is our y-axis and this is our curve y is equal to x square now take any three points on this curve let's say 1 comma 1 let's say 2 comma 4 let's say 3 comma 9 and construct a triangle using these three coordinates there we go that's a triangle now will this triangle have a rational area yes all three points are lattice points area will be area will be a rational quantity we've seen that via pick's theorem as well and all of these distances if i just label this as a b and c a b b c and a c will be irrational this is what i'd proven over here right if we consider a, a, a y is equal to x square this parabola really distance between any two points is irrational i proved that for any two general points right i took k and m to be any variables random variables and from there we essentially saw that distance between any two points is irrational that is proving our question and in fact we have proven our question so we have found a triangle such that its side lengths are all irrational but its area is rational right and because there are n points on this curve you can form a series of nc3 degenerate triangles and hence we have proved what we had to prove in the question right so quite a fascinating question and really the only idea was that as long as the vertices are lattice points the area will by definition be rational from pick's theorem and then we consider this curve and on this curve we can see that all the side lengths are irrational and hence we have proved the existence of those end points or rather those triangles degenerate triangles and hence we are done so hope you learned something from it and this is quite an interesting uh, result about parabolas isn't it so on a parabola distance between any two points is irrational however if you make a triangle using those lattice points the area will be irrational so quite an interesting result regarding parabolas isn't it cool then okay so we have some book suggestions of senior math olympiads i am a compendium polynomials by barbeo Elementary number three by C. Pinsky, graph theory by Harari, combinatorics by Brualdi, secrets and inequalities, and functional equations and how to solve them by Christopher G. Small. Okay, so at the end we have a similar but challenging problem, and uh, this is again one of the geometrical interpretations of Pick's theorem. So Pick's theorem is really beautiful when you apply a little bit of geometry to it, right? And uh, here I want you to prove that it is impossible to have an equilateral triangle with all three vertices as lattice points. So essentially. If we have an equilateral triangle, all sides equal, then all of these three vertices cannot be lattice points. Or try proving it vice versa as well. If we have A, B, and C as lattice points, then the triangle A, B, C can never be equilateral. It holds both ways. So maybe try this out. And if you're able to do it, let me know. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much and bye-bye. Chinta programs are designed for students who are passionate about mathematics and they are personalized with one-on-one -on -one training, individual evaluation, and remedial sessions. 
the reason chinta students are successful over the last 10 years because they are taught by mathematicians and real olympiads from leading universities in india united states and europe some of our students come back to teach at chinta from oxford cambridge harvard mit ucla isi cmi iits tifr and iisc for more information visit chinta.com